All right, welcome back, everyone. We got another episode of Just Try It DIY. And I'm pretty excited. Um, got a package in today. Um, I've been having all kinds of issues with my garage door opener. I have terrible range. Um, I've actually already tried this out and I have two openers and of course the one I got working great and now I got this new little kit here. I'm going to show you what it's all about. It's actually some coax cable with a little antenna right here. Um, it's going to be able to hook it up. I got Ryobi garage door openers, but this is actually for a, uh, for a different garage door opener. This is actually from uh, LiftMaster. So if you do have a LiftMaster and you're having range issues with that, um, this is absolutely working great for me. I'm approximately maybe 35, 40 feet away from the front door. Um, is a uh, real big garage door opener. Batteries are new. Um, I press a button here and nothing. Again. Button again. There we go. Finally, it opens up. The antenna right there is something we're gonna hook up and see if we can boost the signal and see if it gets better. All right, so I temporarily hooked this up. I got it set up there to the wire that was on there, cut it, and then spliced into that coax cable. Ran it over here and under the door just so I could try this out goes through under the door it's connected right there so we're gonna try this out and see how it does all right so part of this on here I ended up having to uh, actually extend the cable because my doors are 10 foot doors so the cable that came with the kit is not long enough so right here is a piece of coax cable here's a uh, stripper that I bought at hardware store so here's some coax cable here so as you go to put it in here Open up the jaws on it and uh, lay it in there just to the edge so you can go right to the end. There we go, it's just cutting good. You hear it kind of cutting through the wire and stuff in there, the protective stuff. So once you pull it off, look something kind of like that, you still have some wires sticking out. Now, the nice thing is you can, <clears throat> the new coax connector right here, that just slides in here. If you slide it in, kind of turn it a little bit as I put it in. And I'm sure there's probably a lot of people out there probably maybe I'm doing it wrong, but this is how I was taught to do it. And I have the coax, or the actual center cable through there just a little bit. Another tool, specialty tool, um, right here. You can, so the coax cable fits in here, the center fits in here, down here. Push it down in here, and when you pull this down, it actually pulls that seal in there and locks that on there. I'm not going to waste one here because I'm going to because this is just a scrap piece so I'm just going to pull this back out. I'm actually going to go out and do this up by the garage door uh, where the garage door antenna is going to be outside. So we'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay so here we are at the original spot where we tried it the first time. Here's my remote and try it here. Ooh, opens up just fine. Hit the button, and it opens. I never have had this kind of range. Put the button again, and it works. I definitely think this is acceptable for, for what I've been trying to do. So I'm going to back up one more time. We're going to see. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm getting quite a bit here. I, they claim like 300 feet, but I, I got a metal building, so that may not work all the time. Look at there, still works. That's awesome. I say that's a win. I'm so after getting everything hooked up, I got really good range out of this. Uh, I'm very happy with the way everything turned out. So definitely something anybody could do at home. So give it a try. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time on Just Try It DIY. And uh, don't forget, hey, hit the subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. We'll see you next time. Later.